Hey you guys, it's your girl Victoria and I'm back with another video. So before we get into this video, like I always say, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I mean, you clicked on it, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. It's underneath right there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So as you can see on the screen, I'll be doing a review on the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder in the color medium. I really, really love it. As you can see, it gives me a nice flawless look and I'm able to bake with it instead of just putting it on. I could never bake with the Airspun and this time I get to bake. I just wanted to try it. You don't have to bake. Um, you can just press it on there with the sponge or whatever the case may be. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So this is the box that it comes in and it is so pretty. I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. Like I said, this is their setting powder. This is a 0 0.56 ounce. It's supposed to be photo friendly. It's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, this is what it looks like. So it comes in this nice container that says born this way. This is the top. I think it's so pretty. Also, the bottom tells you everything about it. So I'm going to open it. And the great thing about it is that it comes with a uh, top inside that opens up like this. And the powder is in there. So like once you open it, you won't have to worry about the powder getting in your um container or whatever the case may be so you guys i'm gonna go ahead and add concealer underneath my eyes i'm gonna go in with the stay matte from rimmel london um i've been using this it's supposed to be full coverage i do want to switch up to another concealer so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know in the comments of a great concealer that you think works well so i'm gonna put that under my eyes All right, so now that that's under my eyes, I am gonna go ahead and pat it in. A tip about this concealer is that if you do not hurry up and work fast, it will like dry and it's gonna be hard to move around. All right, so that's the first layer. I do want to go in and make it lighter. Um, just for the simple fact that I want a lighter conceal under the eyes. So I'm just going to go in right now underneath the eye. I've also learned that all setting powders don't go with concealers like some just don't mix together and i actually learned that from aliyah j so i think these are just this is just one of them that just doesn't go together I'm gonna take this sponge and I'm just gonna press it underneath. And then I'm gonna take the leftover from the sponge and I'm just gonna press it where I love the other ones at. And now I'm done. I feel like I'm done baking. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that and sweep that away. Now 
Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna spray it with the NYX finishing spray. And I'm gonna go ahead, change my little shirt, fix my little hair, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look, y'all. It came out really nice. I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see. It really leaves like a photo finish look on your face. I definitely recommend this. Um, I'm gonna put on the screen how much it costs. Um, as you can see, it costs like around $30. I really really like it it's definitely my go-to at first I was using airspun and airspun just left me way way too light and I really couldn't bake I just had to put it on and take it off but this born this way is giving me you know no flashback no nothing I can bake with it I'm actually gonna leave a picture with the flash on now on this side as well or one of the sides and uh yeah I'm so excited. I'm actually, I need to like go somewhere or take pictures or something. My front is looking really, really slay today, y'all. I'm feeling really, really slay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video.